Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am finally testing out some of Jessica Braun's favourite makeup products. I've been wanting to do this video for months but I got married this year so I was super busy and I just kept pushing it back and pushing it back so I am super excited that the day is finally here. A lot of the products I have chosen to test out today are from her 2020 favorites video. I did have a few in my collection already and I have gone and picked up some others including the one and only Misha BB Cream. <laughs> All right, well, if you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I do a ton of videos related to drugstore makeup and I'd love to have you here. First up is a primer and this is one that I already had in my collection and it is the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Primer. Ooh. <laughs> so the reason Jessica says she loves this primer is because it has the perfect combination of smoothing, hydrating and slightly pore filling. So I like to place this in the areas where I have larger pores, so just under my eyes here on the side of my nose. And you can probably see there how hydrating it is. You can see the shine on my skin, but it's not like a bad shine, it's a hydrating shine. <laughs> and then I also like to put it in between my brows, again where I have some bigger pores. And then a little bit around my mouth and chin, again, to fill in those pores and just really smooth everything out. The next product is the Misha BB Cream. And for as long as I can remember watching Jessica, I've heard her speak about this. Now, this was actually pretty easy to get here in Australia. I picked it up from iHerb and I wasn't sure what shade to go with. I'm pretty sure Jessica uses 23. So I picked up number 21 and number 13 because I am a touch fairer than her. So this is described to be a multifunctional BB cream that features sun protection, it's brightening and wrinkle, wrinkle caring benefits. Okay, <laughs> and it has a high coverage. BB creams are something that I've never found one I actually like. I feel it's like the shades are always really off and I can never find anything fair enough. But Jessica says this has amazing coverage and amazing longevity. It leaves her skin looking beautiful. <gasps> Let's get into it. Okay, so this shade here is 21 and this here is 13. I feel like 21 could actually work. It's kind of got that really gray beige undertone which just magically works but then 13 does look similar to other foundations I use. I think I'll go in with 13. Oh that looks pretty good it might be a little fair. Let me put a bit of 21 on this side. Oh my god I don't know. I feel like they kind of both work. Look, for today, I'm going to go in with 13 and then I'll try 21 another day and leave a little note in the description box of what shade I think was best. It does have a bit of a thicker consistency than I was expecting. Just when I hear BB cream, I think it's going to be something quite light. It's blending out nicely with the sponge. I feel like I'm getting a kind of like a light to medium coverage actually, because I can still see my breakouts underneath here, but look how hydrating and glowy that is. Oh, that looks good. It definitely has a little bit of fragrance in it. I can smell it as I'm applying. It's not too strong though. All right, so I've got a bit of a breakout cluster just here. So let's see how the coverage goes. Usually I would go in with a green concealer to attack that, but I wanna see how good the coverage is on its own. Let me turn down the brightness and bring it in so you can see that coverage. Oh my God, it is so glowy. My skin looks beautiful. So definitely not a full coverage for me. I've still got a few breakouts peeping through. These ones are too. But my skin looks so healthy. Ooh, it's definitely different to what I was expecting. The consistency is a bit thicker. I did think it would be a bit more full coverage, but I am loving how hydrating it looks. I am just going to go in with a touch more and see how it builds up over these blemishes. All right, so it's slightly built up, but again, not full coverage, but I'm okay with that. I am really happy with it. It is sitting beautifully on the skin. Yay! I actually did just purchase the Pareto 
BB cream as well, something that Jessica raves about now and absolutely loves. And Anna Elaine here on YouTube also really loves it. And I have noticed that the tone of the Pareto BB cream is more of this kind of gray undertone. So it'll be interesting to try that one out. And when I get the Pareto BB cream, I'll definitely test it out as well. Jessica actually has a video comparing the Misha and the Pareto if you want to go and watch it. Anyway, 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 moving on. <laughs> the next product that Jessica raves about is the number seven Lift and Luminate Finishing Powder. And I picked this one up in the shade Light. Now, number seven, as far as I'm aware, isn't that easily available here in Australia. I did find this on some random website and to be honest, I wasn't sure if it was even legit, but it was like 25 bucks and it turned up, so winning. Now it's described to even skin tone, visibly smooth skin and reduces the appearance of fine lines. I have a ton of fine lines under my eyes, so it'll be very interesting to see how this smooths them out. Jessica says she loves it because it really flattens the area. So by that, I believe she means it does make it nice and smooth and it just looks flawless. From first impressions, the shade looks fantastic for my fair skin tone. So it's definitely smoothed out the area quite nicely. It's not settling into my fine lines too bad. It definitely mattifies the area. Like I said, it looks nice and smooth and I'm really happy with the shade. I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of this over my entire face because I do like to set my foundation down. I'm just going in with a bigger brush and I'm going to lightly set everything. I don't want to lose too much of the glowiness from the BB cream. The next product is a bronzer and it is by L'Oreal. It's the True Match Lumi Bronzer and this is in the shade 01 Light Claire. Now I cannot see that this is easily available in Australia. I've had a quick look online and you can get it like on Amazon, on some other weird website, but it's not at Priceline or Chemist Warehouse or the big L'Oreal retailers here in Australia for some reason. I actually had a subscriber send this to me a few years ago. And so because of that, I have actually used this a few times and it is a beautiful bronzer. I just don't show it on my channel very often because it's a bit hard to get. First of all, look how freaking big it is. Like it's huge. You get 11.6 grams. It does have a bit of a sheen to it, which just leaves a really beautiful glow to the skin and it's quite cool toned. So it works beautifully for fair skin. And then to apply the bronzer, I'm going to use this Eco Tools 360 Ultimate Sheer Powder Brush. I actually picked this one up a few months ago, again, off of Jessica's recommendation. She loves it for applying bronzers. When I picked it up, I actually started using it with cream bronzers because it does have the duo fiber synthetic bristles, so it's great for cream products as well. So some of the reasons Jessica says she loves this bronzer is because it doesn't lean orange. So as I mentioned, it does have more of a cool tone and it actually can be quite hard to find nice bronzers for fair skin. So when a bronzer doesn't lean orange, it's a bloody winner. She also said she loves that it has that glowy finish. It's nothing to really turn you off, like it's not going to be like too much, but it just leaves a beautiful and natural glow. This brush is applying the bronzer beautifully as well. It's diffusing it really nice and just giving it a nice soft blend. It's not too harsh. Next product is a blush by MAC and it is the Glow Play Blush. Now, Jessica loves the shade called So Natural, which looks like a very natural, like muted kind of shade. Whereas I have the shade Cheer Up, which is more of a bright pink. Now, Jessica says she loves this blush because it has a beautiful bouncy cream to powder finish. It's buildable. She says it's quite foolproof. There's that damn flyer. Did you see it? There it is again. Yes, hello, we missed you too. <sighs> if you haven't been to my channel before, there's literally this fly that rises from the dead and flies around the room whenever I start filming. Like I never see it any other time and I do my makeup in here every day. As soon as I press record on that camera, it's like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> 
But as I was saying, she says that it's buildable, it's foolproof, and it leaves a natural finish. And because it does have that cream to powder texture, it doesn't leave an overly powdery finish on the skin and it doesn't cling to any dry patches. She does recommend using a stippling brush to apply. So I'm going to go in with this Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. This is actually a foundation brush. I would love to go into store and have a look at the shade that Jessica recommends because it is something very different to what I usually use for blushes. I like a very bright blush that brings a lot of color and life back to my skin. She's right though, it's just so beautiful and leaves such a gorgeous finish. It looks like a natural flush and I think it's because it's got that cream to powder finish. I always do that with products, like I just assume everything has a mirror and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I did it again! <laughs> the next product is by JCat and it is the Lux Pro Powder Pearl Luminizer. Now, JCat again is one of those brands that I never see or hear about in Australia. I did pick this one up off of iHerb as well and it was pretty inexpensive and that's something that Jessica actually says that it is a great affordable option. She says that it just blends really easily and gives kind of that ethereal glow. So when you look at someone you're like, are they wearing highlighter or are they just naturally that beautiful and glowy? I'm all here for that. This one was recommended to her by Taylor Wynn, who is another person on YouTube who I just love and adore. Have been watching her for years back in the day when I was first getting into makeup, looking for like fair skin advice. She was there for me. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. I feel like when I look in the mirror, it doesn't look too metallic. And then looking in the viewfinder, I'm just getting this beautiful sheer wet look. Ooh, okay. I might try a different brush. Let me go in with this one here by Sigma. It's more flat, whereas this one by Morphe is super fluffy. Even just applying a little bit, it gives such a natural glow. Look at that. My skin just looks healthy. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. I actually have a little bit of a gripe with like affordable highlighters. I feel like they're always just chalky and too metallic. They don't look, they just don't look good on the skin. So it's nice to find an affordable highlighter that looks as good on the skin. And then the last product I want to test out today is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. Again, this has been something I've heard Jessica talk about for years. And again, LA Girl is one of those brands in Australia that's not that accessible. Like it's not just down at the shops, you have to order it online. So I did pick up this one from eBay and I got the shade taupe, but it's not very taupey. I do love a micro tip brow pencil though. I think they are fantastic. This one has a spoolie on the other end as well. All right, so far loving the formula. It's nice and creamy, but not like too creamy that it's just moving around too much. It's gliding on really nicely. And look, the color is definitely a little bit warmer than what I usually go for, but that's all right. There was actually quite a lot of shades in this range, which is really good. If you love micro tip brow pencils, I definitely think they are a product that you do not need to spend the money on a high-end version. There are so many great affordable options and it's good to know that I now have another one. <laughs> All right, so I've just gone ahead and finished my makeup. In true Jessica style, I went for quite a neutral eye and a nude lip. When I was doing my eyeshadow though, I used my e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in Cream and Sugar, which reminded me that Jess loves the, the pinky one. I can't remember what it's called. So, should I do another one of these videos testing more of her favorites out? Let me know in the comments down below if there are any other products that you'd like to see me test out. Overall, I really enjoyed playing with some new products today. I think the BB cream is going to be a winner for me. It looks really nice and I'm excited to keep trying it out. I just love Jessica's channel. I've been watching her for years. I feel like she always gives really good product recommendations and I love that her makeup is just like for the natural everyday makeup wearer. Like it's not overly glamorous and Instagrammy. It's like real makeup for real people, <laughs> you know? 
I also love that she does a mix of drugstore and high-end, and whenever she does recommend high-end products, she likes to give a drugstore dupe. Anyway, I could sit here and rave about her for ages, so I'm just going to stop there. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're new, as I said, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. You can also come and follow me over on Instagram. I will have my name on the screen now and linked in the description box. Well, I hope you're all having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!